Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. I do have a subscriber appreciation giveaway going on right now, but it is a hidden giveaway. So you have to watch the videos over the past couple of weeks to find out how to enter and win what I think is a pretty cool prize. It will be open until the channel hits 2,500 subscribers, which hopefully won't be too, too long. Today, though, I have another dash of Disney for you, in case you couldn't already tell by my ears. These awesome rainbow sequin ears are from Soarin' Over Main Street, and as always, when I wear small shop ears, I will leave that shop linked in the description box below. Today, though, I have my second magical pick-me-up box, and this comes all the way from Hong Kong. I think it's so awesome to get items from the international parks, and I do really just love the styling of this box with the simple icons. I think it's really, really cute. Now, she has two different subscription tiers right now. There is the magical box that is $69.99 plus shipping, or the mini box that is $49.99 plus shipping. For me, the shipping is $20, so that means it's about $90, which is a little bit steep even though I think that shipping is pretty reasonable coming all the way from Hong Kong. I loved my first box which was just a one-time box which is definitely an option so I went ahead and subscribed but we'll just have to see what we think about the value. So let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we've got. You can tell them your preferences uh, through an email. It's not like the most detailed questionnaire but I again I thought the first box I got from her was so awesome. I was really happy to go ahead and subscribe at least for a little while. So right on top, I am seeing a Pocahontas like postcard that says, follow your own path. And it says Hong Kong Disneyland, which is kind of cool. It's got her flowing hair. And then a nice handwritten note here on the back. It says, happy new year. Thank you for your continued support. And I hope you love the items I've selected for you. Have a magical day, Olivia. So really excited, you guys. And I do think this is a pretty little postcard. And then there's always this really fun shred. It's almost like Easter basket shred. It's kind of like light and fluffy. So let's see what we have got in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks like we're gonna get to do an ear change. I'm really excited about it. So let me go ahead and do that right away just so that I have the opportunity to wear them. Um, I love getting ears that you can't get here in the parks and these, you guys, are fantastic. They definitely have some mermaid vibes to them. Look at that with these awesome like tiny sequins on these ears and then these are like big paillettes almost. So it's like this iridescent purple. So, so cool, you guys. I love them. And then it's like a dark blue sequin here along the sides. So let's see. It does say Hong Kong Disneyland. She's torn off the price. I'm like kind of curious to know what the equivalent of the $29.99 the ears are here in the States, what that is over there. And she doesn't, I don't think, include like a spoiler sheet or an invoice at the end, which I think would be an upgrade because I like seeing uh, all of the prices at the end of my unboxings of Disney boxes. So you guys, this is so cool. I love these. Definitely haven't seen these in the States. So let me go ahead and take these sequined ears off so I can put these sequined ears on and let me hopefully get the tag out of the way. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull the little um, plastic uh, tie off of there so that we can get that on. Wow, those are fabulous. I love plush bows. I don't know why. I just think it makes them like that more fun and whimsical. And I love these. They look like mermaid scales, don't they? These are such great ears, you guys. So that in my mind is already $30 worth in value towards that 90. So we'll see if we got another like $60 in value. Hopefully it kind of covers the shipping. But again, I understand that shipping is expensive. All right, let's see what else we've got. Let me see if I can tuck that tag in so it's not like bugging me and you too much. Not too bad there. All right, these are awesome. Okay, so I got something that is Winnie the Pooh themed, which is great. Some of the characters that like I really love aren't necessarily super popular in the uh, Asian parks, which I totally understand. And I'm not like a Duffy and Friends like and other like Asian parks popular characters like fans. So she has like very limited preferences to work with. But if I could get a fancy pair of Hong Kong Disneyland ears every single box, I'd be probably pretty happy. So this came in a little box and I'm not exactly sure 
what it is. I think it's like a little like memo clip or like photo holder. So let's go ahead and open this up. And again, there's like no prices on here, I don't think, but it does have a little like washi tape that does say that it is from the parks there. So that's really cool. Let me see. Oh, this is super duper cute. It's like made out of wood. It's so adorable. It's got Winnie the Pooh with his little honey pot. And you can see there's like a tree in the background. And then this just like little gold clip. So you can put like memos there or like I said, like a photo or something. That is super cute. What a great little like desk accessory. And I just love that it's like made out of wood. It's, you can see some like real craftsmanship there. That's awesome. I've never seen anything like that and it's totally the kind of thing that I wouldn't necessarily spend my money on at the parks um, but I'm happy to have this as a little desk buddy and it's actually functional which is really nice as well so that's a great item I'm not sure like what I would pay for that but you guys know that like Disney merch tends to be a little bit pricier so let's go ahead and put that off to the side so so far two wins I'm pretty happy Let's see, we've got something else. So this is a jigsaw puzzle, a tiny jigsaw puzzle, and it's the Little Mermaid. So look, it came in this cute little container, always on point packaging from the Asian parks. So I'm very curious to see. So that is the actual image of it, but let me go ahead and open it up so we can kind of get a better idea of it. Let me see. I don't want to like tear anything because again, I think the packaging is adorable and hopefully I can show it to you over on Instagram when I get to take photos of everything. Oh, <laughs> the packaging is like a child proof though too. It's like a little confusing. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are like the tiniest little pieces. Like it even comes with little plastic tweezers so that you can do the puzzle. Can you believe that? Look at that. And then look at the tiny little pieces. I know they probably don't like necessarily look that small, but they are tiny so it's really cute though because i think that the puzzle when you put it together is probably like maybe this big or like postcard size so it's a great puzzle that you could probably frame it would be fun because i know people do that with their puzzles and they frame them but again i have such limited wall space for like extra art that i wouldn't probably do that but i think that's so cute what a great thing to like sort of be doing on your like little like tv tray like while you're trying to just zone out and stuff and i do love the little mermaid it's like one of the disney movies that I totally grew up watching on repeat on VHS um, and so I always have a soft spot for Ariel and friends all right it looks like we've got maybe one more item in here and it's super soft it looks like a towel so hmm I'm not sure it's a towel set of two so we've got like Sorcerer Mickey which is not like my favorite and it says happy journeys um, and then the other one is also Sorcerer Mickey. So it looks like they're two different sizes. That's interesting. I'll show you guys the image here. So we've got like this bigger one in this darker blue and this smaller one that is square. So I think they are separate just because it says that there are two towels. Yeah, so one is like longer and the other one is like a little bit shorter. So this is totally something that I probably won't use. I'll probably pass this on to someone because I'm not sure. It's like very much like a terrible cloth towel so I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it like in the kitchen but even if I did have a Disney kitchen this is not like the kind of style that I would probably use I love Mickey and Minnie like classic characters um, but I usually don't like like these kinds of like images I like more like the icon like a Mickey uh, head shaped like maybe towel or something or print um, this is like kind of feels like a little bit young to me um, but I could definitely use them I guess as like you know like towels at the gym or something if I ever get to go the gym or just around the house but um, I'm not sure this is like something that I would normally pick out for myself so I'm not really sure about the like overall value I don't feel like it was necessarily like $90 worth do I think it was $70 which was what I paid before the shipping maybe like again the ears are probably 30 I'm guessing the little Winnie the Pooh clip is probably like 10 to 15 the jigsaw puzzle maybe again 10 to 15 but it's still like kind of close like and then this it's just because it's not necessarily my personal style so I don't feel like it was like 
definitely like over the value of what I paid. I don't feel like it really necessarily covered the shipping, but I am so thrilled by these ears that I'm not like that uh, upset about it. But I might be a little bit more specific with my um, preferences and go ahead and just like write her like a little note in terms of like, I do like uh, houseware, like home decor, like kitchen stuff, like useful gadgets that are Disney, but not necessarily like with like cartoon drawings and stuff. That's just like a personal preference. So I'll just let her know and I'm sure she'll be able to do something for me for my next box. Or maybe I'll just shift and do like a smaller box. But you guys, you know, I love like the more expensive items from Disney parks. So that's why I stuck with the magical box versus the mini. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite item was let me know if you have any interest or ideas for what I could use these cute little towels for since I probably wouldn't hang them in my kitchen I am pretty excited about the jigsaw puzzle because I just think it'll be a fun thing to do and I love the little like photo clip I think that's great and of course I obviously think the ears are my favorite item in this box I do hope you guys enjoyed this video though please do give it a thumbs up if you did appreciate it and hopefully I see you all super soon in my next unboxing